More developments today in the 10th afternoon yesterday at Dreyfus School of the Arts in which a van crashed on campus and a suspect 33 year old Roman Phelps was shot and killed by police. Now those who knew Phelps say that he was suffering with mental illness and needed help that he couldn't get. WPTV's Matt says he spoke with a close friend of Roman Phelps. I know the other side of the story which is that Roman wasn't there to hurt any of them. Skylar Meany was one of the few people who saw and talked with Roman Phelps in the hours leading up to him crashing a van at Dreyfus School of the Arts on Friday and then being shot and killed by police in the school's theater. Skylar and others who knew Phelps paint a picture of a friend who suffered with mental illness. He was a mentally disturbed individual, a fellow Dreyfus alumni, a, a theater student, he, you know, just wanted help. He sought help, and it wasn't given to him. West Palm Beach police say Phelps rammed his van onto the active campus, then running and resisting attempts to stop him. The suspect got into a physical confrontation with that school resource officer. Uh, the school resource officer called for emergency backup. The suspect broke free ran out of that building and into another building where our off-duty officer uh, then encountered the suspect. Skylar Meany, though, believes Roman Phelps ran to the one place he cherished, the school's theater, after spending Thursday at his house and acting strange. As the, the day went on, it became a more extreme departure. Um, by the time he came inside, he couldn't really speak much. He was sitting on the back of this couch right here, tapping his foot, just breathing really heavy. Skyler says the police came and Roman went to the hospital, but not for long. Skyler says Phelps was released, Roman telling him the drugs they gave him didn't slow him down. He seemingly stayed out all night, sending a text to Skyler. I would never do you any harm, Skyler. You molded my symbiotic state into a phoenix crystal. I am forever grateful, 4.52 a.m. By morning, Phelps, an electrician, had dressed for work, but still apparently struggling, went to his old high school instead. I think he was trying to get himself arrested because he felt in danger of himself. So I think there was part of him that didn't want this to happen. West Palm Beach police in a statement on Saturday say Phelps was acting violently and erratically and attacking two officers here on the campus Friday before being shot by an off-duty officer. Several investigations are now underway, including by FDLE and the state attorney's office. In West Palm Beach, Matt Sesney, WPTV News Channel 5.